Hello, and welcome to our Anchor Chain Calculator app. This app allows you to calculate the minimally required anchor chain length as a function of a couple of parameters, such as the weather and sea conditions. For instance, the water depth, the wind strength, including gusts, the swell energy of surrounding waves, and it even gives an option to include the slope of the seabed. In addition to that, there are a couple of boat characteristics the app needs to know. These are the chain thickness, the elasticity of the snubber, and either the vessel length or the windage area of your vessel. Let me start with an introduction into the basic mode of the anchor chain calculator. In this mode, you provide a couple of parameters such as vessel weight and vessel length. You also select the basic shape of your vessel. For the sake of this showcase, let me select a trimaran. Here, you can select your chain size. Then I enter the wind strength. The anchor depth is divided into two fields. The first one is the difference in height between the bow roller and your reference point of your depth reading, which is often either the waterline or the bottom of the keel. The second field for the anchor depth is then simply the reading of the water depth. For the swell energy, one again has two options. One either inputs the swell energy in joule, but this can be rather difficult to determine. I prefer to key in the vessel velocity as I read it off my plotter. The relevant velocity to key in is the velocity component that is pointing away from the anchor. In this case, it is 0.6 knots. Now let's go through a simulation where we do not have a snubber at all. Once everything is input and selected, I press calculate to see the minimally required anchor chain length, which in this case is at almost 91 meters with an anchor load of 850 decanewton. Now let us see what the result would be if we had an excellent snubber. We can see that we now have only about 72 meters as chain length, and the anchor load has gone down to 524 decanewton. This reduction in the anchor load is important as it means that the anchor has a much higher chance of holding. Let's switch to expert mode. In the expert mode, you will see the windage area in place of the vessel length. Whatever is input as the vessel length and shape in basic mode will then be converted to an equivalent windage area when you switch to expert mode. In this case, it is 29.1 square meters. Let's change that a bit and make the windage area slightly smaller. Now suppose we had only 60 meters of chain length in total. What happens then is that the anchor chain will not pull horizontally at the anchor, but rather at an angle. The angle is calculated here as 2.3 degrees, which is still fairly small, so the holding power of the anchor should not be hugely affected. This max field is used to limit the chain length. You can use this if you've simply run out of chain or when you need to reduce the swinging circle of your vessel to avoid hitting neighboring vessels or any obstacles there might be. You can also use different physical units, including metric, kilopond, and imperial. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of our Anchor Chain Calculator app and found it as useful as I do.